Hello and welcome to the Dispute Vox training series. In the next couple of videos, we're going to be looking at how you add a client, how you manage automations, billing, and all the tools that are necessary for running the platform day to day. Now, one of the areas that we're going to start with is the automations. Uh, there's a couple of reasons we want to start here, um, mainly because it's going to impact um, all the future functionality. You know, when you add a client, you need to know what happens as far as emails going out, SMS messages going out, and uh, how you can change that messaging and kind of make it your own. So the, the workflow we call AutoFox, and this is probably the one feature that stands out above the rest. Um, our workflow engine is fully customizable. It comes pre-built with everything from onboarding campaigns to uh, campaigns that stay in touch with your customer during each round. Uh, we're gonna explore some of that today, and in a future video, we're gonna be doing a bit more detailed look at how you can create your own. But in this video, we're gonna show you what exists currently and how it ties into uh, the day-to-day -day operations that you'll be using. So we'll take a look here on our AutoFox tab. Now there's a little video on here, which we'll be updating as well. Um, but essentially, you'll see about 18 AutoFox pre-built uh, templates that are ready to go, okay? So you really don't have to modify these if you don't want to. I mean, anything from adding a client you know, they get a welcome email and then when you onboard them, they have all their portal login information and all that kind of stuff. It's all ready to go, all right? But I do encourage you, you know, whether you're in a trial or if you're in a, a full version, at least read all the email messages that we've uh, designed here just to make sure that our message matches yours. So I'll give you a perfect example. So if you wanna look at the um, new client signup email, so this would apply anytime that you add a new client either manually through the, through the system or if they came through on a web form um, at, or a signup form rather, and they were deemed a client versus a lead. Now you can disable this. You don't have to use it. By default, it's already enabled. So essentially when you add somebody, it's gonna generate this first email. So I'll actually open up this whole series here. Don't worry about the stuff here at the top. Um, this is a little bit complex. You know, if you decided to come up with a crazy marketing campaign or a custom campaign, um, just get with us and we'll help you set it up um, just to make sure that all the triggers are doing what they're supposed to do. But what we're going to do is look down here at the steps that are in the welcome package. So when you add them, it's going to send out this email and then it's going to send out this text message. Okay. So if you click on the email, you can just see what it says. All right, don't worry about the stuff at the top here. We'll just look at the body. So this is the welcome email that all new clients will get unless you turn it off. So each of these emails is pre-designed. You have full editing capability. If you wanna go nuts with you know, getting a web designer to do your HTML and CSS, you can make this look exactly like your website. You can insert as many images as you want. Um, we've designed something that is universal that applies to the majority of businesses out there. But again, the reason you wanna check these out is to check the messaging. All right, so this one here, hey, thanks for signing up with our company. You're one step closer to a score. Anytime you see these little codes, it's gonna pull in your information. Uh, your logo will be pulled in here at the top as well. But this just kind of sets them up for, you know, what to expect. Okay, so copy your driver's license, social security card, you know, and, you, and again, you can change all of this. Just start typing. Um, you know, if you wanna do some, you know, a little bit crazier graphics, if you have a web guy, they can help you with that. Um, or if, you know, if it's something small, we can help you out with that as well. Um, down here at the bottom, it's going to pull in your company information because right now there's no agent or salesperson assigned to this. So you'll see later on um, how that works, where if you sign an agent to a particular client, then any automations going forward, including onboarding and all the future communications will have their signature information, right? So it's that personal contact of you have an agent that's working with you. Now, if you did want to just have it be generic where it's just the company information throughout, of course, you can go ahead and change it. But by default, the first welcome email just has your general company information until you assign an agent. All right. So that's the first email that goes out. And then we're going to have a text message, which is right here. If you click on it, that goes out as well. And again, you can modify the text right here. This is just the messaging on what it says. Now, every system comes with a default phone number. If you do want your own, we can set you up with um, either a local number or an 800 number. There's just a, a setup uh, fee to get it uh, going, and you can just contact us about that. But as far as the information, you know, you can just start typing whatever you want that text message to say. Now, the reason we do emails and texts, you know, is pretty evident. Not everybody will get an email. Sometimes it'll go to their junk or spam folder, or they may not see it for some reason. Everybody sees a text message. So we try and do a lot of these in tandem, just so you're sure that your customer got the message. 
Okay. Um, you can also insert variables in here. Again, we'll get into that into a later video. Um, but you know, just make sure that they they see everything. All right. So that's just the welcome email as an example. Now, one of the more important ones is going to be your onboarding. Now, the cool thing about this system here is it has a pre-built messaging for getting them to log in, sign their documents and all that. But you have the ability to do multiple onboarding campaigns. And the reason you'd want to have multiple ones is if you were importing clients from, say, another platform, and maybe they're already in round two, and you're bringing them over to the new system, of course, you don't want to start them at the very beginning where it's welcoming to the company and, you know, click here to... Um, supplier or your documents or whatever the case is, you can change that messaging. So maybe instead of that, it says, hey, welcome to um, our new brand new uh, software that we have to better serve you. Here's your new login and password for your portal. And uh, and you can go from there. So I'll just show you the, the default one as if they were a brand new customer. Okay, it's this right here, client step two, agent onboarding and portal access. So if we just click view or edit, it'll open up the entire campaign. Now, the way this gets triggered, and we'll cover this a little bit later, um, it's a manual trigger. So when you add your client and you start filling in all their contact information and all that stuff, and when you're ready uh, at a point where you want to onboard them, you just click a button that launches it. Okay, that's why it has a manual condition up here. So when you click that, it's going to send out these two steps. All right, this one here is immediate. This one here comes, I think, about... 10 or 10 minutes or 20 minutes later but this is the most important one right here so if you click on this email all right this is going to show the portal login tells the client what to do next step one sign your agreement step two upload documents step three get credit monitoring if you haven't done so already and you can modify this again if you have different messaging you can do an intro right here just feel free to change it um, the login and password will have already been automatically generated and it will put their information here now, the first time they're going to log into the portal, they're going to get presented with your client agreement. Now, that's going to get uploaded, and we'll talk about that in a future video as well. But um, as soon as they get there, they'll have to sign it, and then that will get them into the portal. There will also be some other steps here you know, for signing documents. So once they sign it, they'll get dropped into a required documents page. On that page, it'll walk them through you know, uploading all of their documentation. Of course, if they're on their phone, they can just take a picture and upload it. Um, and then at the bottom here, just kind of a sit back and relax, you know, uh, giving them an idea of what's going to happen over the next 30 to 45 days. So definitely read this. Make sure it's on message. If not, go ahead and change it. And then just like the other uh, Autofox example, there's also going to be a text message, which is right here, SMS. And again, it's just sort of saying, you know, um, welcome to the platform, check your email, got your portal login in details, etc. Now, these are just the first two steps. Now, you can actually grow this if you want to, if there's some more things you want to drop after that. Here's an example of what a second step might look like that does come with the platform. If you click on this email right here, this is sort of an information email. Right? Just kind of gives them an idea of what's coming up, a little bit of information on the bureaus, things you should do, things you should not do, um, and so forth. And of course, always a reminder for their portal login. In most of the automation emails that we have, it does have a portal login. And uh, on some of the ones when we get into second round, third round, fourth round, we have little reminders where we you know, supply their login and password again just in case they forgot. Okay. Um, so that's an example of the onboarding process. Now I mentioned, you know, if you are going to be importing from another system, you could create a, an entirely separate one that has entirely different messaging and pick certain clients to use that onboarding um, campaign versus this one, which would be considered the default. So a couple of other cool things I want to show you in here. So I'm um, just walking top to bottom. So we've got an affiliate welcome email with some instructions. You know, if you are dealing with affiliates, it'll be very similar. It's a welcome email that has their um, account login and password. And there's a couple of graphics in here kind of explaining what they need to do about uploading photos and logos, how to enter leads, getting web forms, tracking progress, and all that kind of stuff. And then there's a few billing ones here. So this would be your uh, payment failure, for example. So if you click on this one, you can see the pre-built design. Again, you can change it up if you want, but it has all the information there if they have a failed payment. And these are just examples of automated emails that will be going out that you don't really have to do anything on. Uh, the onboarding is really the only manual trigger. And then, of course, as you graduate through round one, round two, round three, um, it will start triggering other campaigns. So if we look a little further down, we have a required documents reminder. So this is just an email a day after they sign up just to make sure that they've uploaded the required docs. 
Um, this one here is kind of important. So when you complete your round one, you're going to launch a campaign that looks like this. <clears throat> There's a couple of sub steps in here. One, two, three, four. So immediately they're going to get this email that just says, hey, round one has been sent to the bureaus. What happens next? Okay. And then it's going to have a text message saying something similar. And then seven days later, they're going to get some information. Now, the idea behind setting these up is it's your automated communication with your client. Technically speaking, once you do the sale, you may never have to speak to that customer again. You can have these automations doing all your communication for you, emails, text messages, follow-ups. And in this case here, it's uh, an information piece, right? So a week out, if you click on the email, you can see what it says, right? It talks a bit about what makes a credit score, things you should do, um, and all that. 21 days out, another email goes out uh, just with uh, some information on what to expect with the mail that they might be receiving physically. And then it's 28 days out, a uh, little text message goes out. So you see there's a bunch of empty slots here. We'll get into this a little bit later on how you can add a, an additional text message um, at the same time. And there's a few other tools that you know some more advanced users might uh, take advantage of. But this is an example of the communication between rounds during that 30 to 35 day window when there's usually not much happening. Now this will also help you avoid those phone calls of, well, I haven't heard from you in three weeks, what's going on with my file and my score? This will stay in contact and keep them informed. All right. So that's an example of a round one. Round two, round three, round four looks very similar, but you can do different messaging through each of the rounds. So, you know, initially when you're getting your system set up, you may not touch these, but you know, once you're up and running, um, you can start to fine tune your messaging going forward. So here's an example as well, if there's a score update. So let's say we did round one, um, that went off. Now we've done round two and there's a score change. So when that happens, there's an email that's gonna go out and it's gonna look like this. New score available. Now we don't show the scores in the email itself for privacy reasons. We make them log into the portal and just get them used to going in there to check on uh, updates. Um, it's much better that way. So on the round two here, we have my score went up or my score went down. These statements right here will save you a ton of phone calls and emails, right? Because as you well know, within the first round or two, there may not be a score change, right? So having this explaining why their score went down or stayed the same will save you a lot of headaches. Okay, so we've kind of thought through the process on all the things that might pop up that could be a distraction for you so you can get back to selling and getting more money in the door. Now we have this same email for every single round anytime there's a score change, but you can actually make them different, right? So if you want to do a different email on the uh, third round score change, you can do that as well. All right, so that walks you through all the rounds there. Um, there's a couple things here for the client when there's a new portal message waiting for them. Um, this is an example of importing clients for onboarding. We were um, doing a demo for another client showing that. So that you can create as many of these as you want. They're just a little bit complex initially to set up, but we'd be happy, happy to advise you um, if you do have something you're trying to accomplish. Now, the last thing I want to touch on here is the marketing aspect. So when you're in the lead status, you know, you generally want to have some type of a drip campaign going. So when they come in through your free consultation form or you add them as a lead, perhaps you pre-design a, um, a series that drops one email every single day for the first five days, right? Just to push them towards signing up officially. Now, you can also do something here where that same campaign could be set up to drop an email six months from now automatically, right? or a year from now, or two years from now, because you well know after they're done with services with you, chances are they're going to mess it up again. And this way your system will automatically, without you having to do it, you know, a year from now, check in, hey, how's it going? How's your score doing? Do you need some help? So it can bring those, you know, leads that may not have signed up initially, or if they did sign up with you, it doesn't matter. It'll bring them back around at a later date without you having to do fresh marketing. And it kind of eliminates uh, some of that extra cost of acquiring um, that customer back. Now, as we go through all of this, we're going to be uh, looking at how you add a client, how you add a lead, and we're going to be focusing on some of the um, more important uh, tools and functionality. Um, but for right now, automations, now that it's been explained, is the most important foundation, right? So once this is set up and tweaked to the way that you want to do business, it is a massive time saver um, and will definitely help you get things done better and actually help you scale, which is kind of the goal, right? So now we're going to take a look at leads and clients and how you can easily add them to the platform.